Hello and welcome to another episode of Life in China. I often get asked about the different cities here in China and why they are good for expats to live in. I've been traveling the length of China to bring you some city guides so you can decide which is the best place for you. If you like this video, then give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for more China related content. Don't forget to check out my previous episodes about Nanjing and Shenzhen. I'll put the links below. So without further ado, this is Life in China, getting to know Tianjin. Tianjin is a city that is often overlooked and many people haven't even heard of it. Yet, it's one of the biggest cities in China. According to my research, it's the third most populated city in China and fifth in the world. So why does it slip under people's radar? Well, I'm here in Tianjin to shine a light on this sleeping giant. Tianjin is a poor city and has historically come into contact with many different cultures even through China's years of isolation. I'm in the area of Wu Da Dao, or Five Great Avenues, which best reflects Tianjin's multicultural heritage. It is a former European concession and has been occupied by many different countries. The architectural influence that these settlers left behind are not hard to spot. Tianjin also boasts the largest number of Italian sculptures of anywhere outside of Italy. Right in the heart of Wu Da Dao is the Minyuan Stadium. Once the home of Tianjin Tita FC, it has since been renovated into a relaxing public space with some nice restaurants and bars for you to enjoy. Shooting up into the sky with its space needle look is the original Tianjin landmark, the Tianta Tower. When it was first built in the 90s, it was the first skyscraper and is still one of the city's most iconic sites. Mix it up with a trip to the nearby water park for some equally beautiful surroundings that you can enjoy with two feet firmly on the ground. If you've been scrolling through photos of China on Instagram, then you're sure to be familiar with the sweeping curves of the Binhai Tianjin Library. It's the perfect place to come to look at the fake books, appreciate the architecture, and up your Instagram game. Be warned though, cameras and flip-flops are not allowed. It forms part of a larger cultural centre which houses art galleries, a performing arts centre and other cultural gems like KFC and Mackey's. Every city needs a river flanked by grand buildings to be considered truly sophisticated. Tianjin is no different and the high river that meanders through the city is lined with a variety of hotels and skyscrapers. This is the place to take a stroll, morning, evening or night. If you were to ask any local their favourite site in Tianjin, then chances are they'd pick the Tianjin Eye. It's suspended over the Yongle Bridge which spans the Hai River and offers you the added novelty of being able to wave at cars as they pass by underneath you. It really comes alive at night time when the twinkling lights look beautiful reflected in the water. The 
Jin Foreign Studies University is one of the very best in the country. This renowned institution specializes in language and culture studies. You can learn a diverse range of languages here, from English to Japanese, German to Swahili. It also offers a Chinese language program for foreign exchange students. The great educational institutes combined with the city's polished accents makes Tianjin one of the best places to learn Mandarin in China. It's not nearly as westernized as nearby Beijing, so it'll give you plenty of opportunities to practice your skills. If you're more interested in the sciences, then the world-famous Nankai University has got you covered. Many of its programs are among the best in China, and it also offers a long list of reputable alumni, including many famous politicians, historians, writers, and scientists. Tianjin is a perfect place to relax and unwind after a busy week of work or study. If you're in need of some spiritual cleansing, then head to the Da Bei Buddhist Monastery to admire the architecture, do a spot of self-reflection, and indulge in some delicious veggie food. the locals flock to some of Tianjin's many green spaces to enjoy a peaceful walk, fly a kite, or indulge in some martial arts practice. Some of the most beautiful are Taifeng Park, Forest Park, and Tianjin Water Park. If you're after some Chinese culture, then look no further than the Ancient Culture Street, where you can find traditional handicrafts, quaint buildings, and delicious local food all in one place. Walking around Tianjin, it's hard to believe that it's the third largest city in China. The city offers a more relaxed vibe than the hustle and bustle of metropolises Shanghai or Beijing. The prices are also much more favourable for essentials such as rent, food and entertainment, which means it's the perfect place to work if you want to boost the health of your savings account. The low cost of living and slow pace of life means that many expats that come to the city find it hard to leave and often choose to start a family here. big cities and nightlife goes, Tianjin isn't exactly known for its party scene. But that's okay, Beijing is just around the corner. Less choice means a more local vibe. You'll usually find lots of expats in these places and it's great to meet new friends over a nice cold beer. Most people will agree that Tianjin is great for food, especially breakfast. You'll find many street food vendors lining the streets offering you local delights. There's a real mix of dishes, so you'll find something to tantalize your taste buds. Its close proximity to the sea means that Tianjin is the perfect place to enjoy some fresh seafood. But it has more to its culinary scene than fish dinners and laid-back street food. If you want a slice of home, you can enjoy a tasty pizza, a sloppy burger, or some authentic Japanese food. This is also a city for those of you who like to cook. Ditch the supermarkets and head to your local market where you'll find some cheap, fresh produce for you to recreate your favorite dishes at home or to try some exotic foods that you wouldn't find in the West. Tianjin is linked to China's high-speed railway network so you can experience what the rest of the country has to offer. If you fancy going further afield, then Binhai Airport can whisk you away to a number of destinations in Asia and beyond. With direct flights to Japan, South Korea, Malaysia and more, you can spend the holidays exploring a new country. 
Tianjin is like the Goldilocks of Chinese cities. It's not too hot or cold, not too big or small, not too westernized or too Chinese. It's just right. If you're looking for a place to go and party all weekend, then maybe it's not for you. But if you're looking for a laid back city with lots of culture and the opportunity to learn Chinese, then it's just right.